Hello everyone, back again with us, Blue Caps. In this video, we will continue Classroom for Heroes anime storyline. In the 8th episode, Blade has to face a robot who intends to destroy him. We warn you that this video will contain spoilers, and we recommend you watch the original film. But before that, remember to click the subscribe button and the bell icon to catch our latest videos. This anime continues by showing Arnest approaching her friends who are with a robot. It is seen that Claire really likes the robot, then Arnest asks where it came from, and the robot shows a picture of Blade. Meanwhile, Blade is meditating to train his fighting spirit, and Ku comes to hug Blade, but she instantly bounces away. Suddenly, Blade's friends come and bring the robot to meet Blade, and Blade who sees it, immediately attacks it until it is destroyed. Arnest scolds Blade there, and then Blade tells her that the robot is a guardian. While they are arguing, the robot tries to analyze Arnest's body. Blade and the others see the robot return to life and turn into a girl. The robot deliberately turns itself into a girl so that Blade wouldn't dare attack it. Then, the robot tries to attack Blade, but Blade immediately attacks it repeatedly until the robot is destroyed again. Arnest scolds Blade again for attacking a girl. Then Blade says that the robot will return to life again, and it is proven she returns to life. The robot tells them that she wants to destroy Blade, and then Claire tries to get her to cooperate, but the robot refuses. Claire calls the robot Iona because of the writing on her shirt, and she offers to help her destroy Blade until Iona finally agrees. They all hold a meeting to find a way for Iona to defeat Blade. Iona says the reason she wanted to destroy Blade is because Blade had entered her place by force and harassed her. Blade denies that and explains that Iona is a robot guarding an underground library that Blade often visits. There is a forbidden book in the library, and Iona always tries to attack Blade, which makes Blade inevitably fight her. Iona says Blade has destroyed her body 28 times, and his friends who hear that immediately corner Blade until it makes him annoyed, and then go outside. Sophie approaches Blade, and Blade tells her that Iona won't die even though Blade destroys her many times because Iona's soul is somewhere else. Meanwhile, Arnest and the others are still discussing how to make Blade stop attacking Iona. Then Iona tells them the reason she became a girl is because she wanted to make Blade not have the heart to fight her. Hearing that, Arnest and Claire immediately feel melted with Iona. Eliza suggests putting a soul into Iona's body so that she can be destroyed and Blade will no longer attack her. The next day, Blade and Iona are seen preparing to battle. Iona tells Blade she is now directly connected to her boss and has a soul. So, Iona's weakness is in her heart, and if Iona's heart is seriously injured, she will not return to life. Blade is shocked to hear that, and then Iona immediately attacks Blade brutally. Blade tries to attack Iona, but it doesn't work, and after that, Iona attacks Blade again more brutally. All of Blade's friends are happy to see that Blade can't fight Iona. Iona tells Blade to surrender and admit defeat, and Blade inevitably surrenders which makes everyone happy, especially Iona. During lunch, it turns out that Iona doesn't want to eat, which makes Blade and the others confused. Iona tells them that now the connection between her and her boss has been lost because she was considered disabled. Iona becomes unstable because she now has no master. Then Iona asks Blade to become her master, but Blade refuses. Iona says that her self-destruction program will activate if she doesn't have a master because it's like she has no purpose. Knowing that, the students are immediately afraid and stay away from Iona. Eliza sees Iona's time bomb continuing to run, and because she doesn't want Iona to explode, Blade finally can't help but agree to Iona's request to become her master. Blade who is relaxing with Ku, is visited by Iona who brings him food. Ku takes the food, and then Blade asks about Iona's clothes. 
Blade admits that he actually doesn't feel free to have a servant. Suddenly, Sophie comes, and it turns out she is annoyed with Iona. Sophie is annoyed because her and Iona's attitudes overlap. Blade who sees the two fighting to ask for orders from him, becomes confused. Sophie and Iona also ask Blade to choose between them which makes Blade unable to do anything. Blade sees Sophie wearing a headband to build her character, then Iona comes and does the same thing until they fight again. Sophie and Iona are fighting again, and when they are about to use their power, Blade immediately hits their heads. Sophie and Iona continue to compete which makes Blade feel tired. At night, Sophie and Iona want to keep Blade in his room, and Blade just let them. Sophie tells Iona that she always felt alone, and Blade's presence makes her feel alive. Iona admits that she also feels the same way. It is seen that Sophie and Iona are starting to get close, and then Sophie asks Iona just to call her name. Blade smiles secretly, realizing that the two of them are already friends. The next day, Iona greets Sophie which makes Arnest happy that they are now friends. Seeing something strange, Blade immediately asks Iona to show him her time bomb. They are shocked to find out that Iona's time bomb is still running. It turns out that making Blade her master doesn't work to stop Iona's time bomb. Iona has 20 hours left, and Iona asks to be with them before she explodes, which makes everyone sad. It is seen that everyone is throwing a party to make Iona's wish come true. Seeing everyone having fun makes Iona feel happy. Meanwhile, Arnest is annoyed because Blade has disappeared somewhere. After the party is over, Iona prepares to get away from everyone. Sophie approaches, and Iona immediately creates a dividing wall. Sophie feels very sad, and Iona starts to say goodbye to Arnest and the others. Time is running out, and everyone looks increasingly sad. When it is time for Iona to explode, it turns out there is nothing happened, which makes everyone confused. Suddenly, Blade appears, then Arnest immediately scolds him there. Blade says he had made Iona's boss deactivate the self-detonation program, and Iona has reconnected with her boss. Finally, everyone feels relieved, especially Sophie. After that, Iona who is so happy, immediately hugs Blade, but because it takes too long, instead of making Arnest annoyed there. So, is it interesting enough about the storyline of this anime? If you're still curious about the continuation of this anime, you can wait for the latest video on our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.